What's going on guys? You got Kwasi here for Kwasi Media Network and Kwasi Media Studio. I mean Kwasi Animation Studio, I'm sorry. So, today we're going to be doing a human generator character. And I just, I don't know, I'm just going to freestyle it. Um, I, I think it'll be a male. And uh, so yeah, let's, I don't know, yeah, we're going to do a male. Um... I think also going to do some playing around, see if we can do maybe a few little body morphs and some changes and, and, and whatever. Uh, so yeah, I, I'll, I'll do the extreme, uh, it has a, uh, a function. Uh, so here's the fun. So we're gonna just rock it out. So I think I'll make like an, an elf guy. So we're gonna use Caucasian too. <laughs> I know you might say what? I'm like I don't know. It, it doesn't make a difference, right? Okay. So I'm gonna randomize his body. But right here you have the make human experimental, make human experimental, loosening limits on shape keys and sliders. So I've noticed that sometimes when you when you do certain things and you push and pull. On certain sliders it doesn't always exactly make those sliders um per se they don't go as far as you would think they would so some so they're still somewhat limited to the uh limits of the actual geometry of the mesh okay so right now we're not going to do any of that because i want to just randomize his body all right so i'm thinking this may not be too bad excuse me i'm going to make him a little bit smaller all right gonna go to individual settings I'm gonna go to chest to make it 0.3 I guess that's not too bad all right so yep that's fine because he he's gonna be a bowman all right so I wanted to be somewhat lengthy so I'm gonna go 196 be six foot four matter of fact because he's that height I might make him a little bit a little bit bigger so this is 0.65 all right I don't really like this 0.65 all right cool all right, so since we're going to look at his face, I'm going to turn off the overlay and we're going to cut on the render preview. All right. So right now, the, the program named him Neil. Probably going to give him some cool uh, name. So does this, let's see what we get here. All right. So for some reason, my mouse wants to stutter. It's not the program stuttering, it's my mouse. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's go to face. Randomize, randomize, randomize. I want him to be kind of cool looking. I don't, I wouldn't really say handsome, but I do want him to look like he's seen some things. Okay, that's a good face right there. Okay, so we're now what we want to do is play with these ears. So now I'm going to turn off the experimental and I'm gonna go to ears. And I know like you have width, length, and the uh, right here is is basically how far the edge of the lobe goes back. Okay, so let's hit random. All right, so I'll go with height. All right, so that's how wide the ear will be. It's gonna go random again. Okay, it's not too bad. Let me see. Hmm. It's got to be a way to make this. Um. I'm thinking we may end up having to sculpt because I want to. Be, I'm, I'm thinking here. I'm sorry, I got quiet, right? Because <laughs> um, I want him to have pointed ears, and I realized even with this on, there's nothing that necessarily stretches this out. Like I know in Make Human, you when you push the slider for the ears a certain distance, the ears will stick out. And I really don't want to sculpt the character. I just don't. I don't really like sculpting on the characters. But I may need to do that. Let me do this again. Some really large ears. 
Okay, that's a good starting point, but I think this is based on width. Because if I go width like 0.5, look at how the ear moves. So it'll go negative 1.6, and we get that. Which is not bad, but I need the length to go a little bit longer. So let me go three on this lobe. See, like I don't want that to go zero on the lobe. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'll stop right there with that. All right. I'm going to go to skin. Come up here. Give it the uh, studio effect. All right. Turn on subsurface. Give him a roughness of two. And we'll throw some freckles on his face. All right. I'm not gonna age him, I'm not gonna give him a shadow. I'm gonna saturate him a little and then off to his eyes. So I feel like since he's he's gonna be an elven character, I'm gonna give him some greenish colored eyes and push this down a little bit, make him more of a J color, and then find some really there we go. Yeah, some sharp eyebrows. Let me see. If we can get a little bit sharper. Nope. Oh yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, so he's an elf. Definitely have to give him long hair. I wish there was more than one ponytail. But I think I want him to be somewhat of a... Yeah, I'm gonna give him a bun. <laughs> So let's see, okay. I, I really hate that this happens, but I'm not gonna fix it. I'm just not. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. I think if I bump the children up, it may it may fix that. Let's go to material, eyebrows, no facial hair, and I'm gonna bump the roughness up a little. Matter of fact, let's pull it back some more. Make it shinier. He's a really healthy elf. All right. No facial hair. Okay, so now turn all this off. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna click his bonage and we're gonna go final. It's been tripping for me some a little bit lately where it doesn't want it, it won't just do it, it'll give me an error. Right now, like it's working. But I'm going to um I'm probably gonna go in and do a sculpt on his ears because I want him to be pointed. I think I'll do that, like, really. Oh, it's thinking mighty hard today, okay. All right, there we go. Ooh. All right, so, yeah, I, I really don't like this. So I'm gonna go and see if I can play with the children. Um, let's see what I have if I do 50. Did that do anything for that? No. Take it back to 30. All right. I don't want the bun filler. I need to try to think about which part is which part. It's this baby hair. That's the hair that's coming down on the side here. I really don't need that. But I'll, I'm going to keep it because I don't really know. All right. So let's see. Strands. Let's check. Go to children. Can do 60 almost but not let me see 100 uh, go back to 30 come up here to base oh base is obviously 200 it filled it in a little bit more but it didn't give me it's just it's this space is just empty I don't get why let's see what interpolated oh never mind okay hmm Strands thin. Okay, so that that just bumped up the edges on the sides. All right. Okay, so I keep trying to save and I haven't saved the character. Let's save the character. All right, so we're gonna go to random projects. I'm just gonna uh, give it a new one. Just gonna call it Elvin model or well, character. And then 
We're gonna name it, let's see, Elven character. Underscore, give him a name like, I don't know, Darvin. <laughs> so let's rename him Darvin. I didn't even like say what? I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, oop, that's not what I was trying to do. Okay, so go to the mesh. And I want this to, to be even, so I'm gonna go over to scope mode. And I'm going to use the grab tool. This is me personally, all right? I want it on the X, so. All right, let's stretch this out a little bit more. What are you doing? It doesn't want to sculpt it. Is it because of the shape keys? And it's not working. All right. There's got to be a shape key thing. Hmm. Interesting. All right. I think I know what to do. I think it's part of the particle system. So let me go to the modifiers. Let's toggle the stack. I'm gonna turn all the modifiers off. Well, at least those modifiers anyway. All right, so let me try it again. Let's see what happens. Oh, that didn't help either. So I can't play with this particular part. That's weird. It's got to be because of the shape keys. This has got to be because of the shape keys. Hmm. Oh, now it wants to work. <laughs> oh, now it wants to work. See, now that's the problem. All right, I see what now I need to do. Okay. I need to draw this down so all right here we go we're working now we're working now all right pull it out a little bit more so I get on the other side pull this back some more Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Let's go in some more. And when you slide in, just hit F and it'll adjust so you don't have to always go up here and adjust the radius. too bad all right I think I can deal with that that's not too bad I can deal with that all right so he has his ears all right let's go and toggle the hair back on see if we don't get any weirdness we don't and there we are okay so now let's dress this guy and this is the thing I'm gonna do external clothing so just for the sake of it I'm gonna create a sick another uh, what I'm just just call it clothing and that's where I'm gonna drop. My, I'm going to drop the pieces. So, okay. I'm I'm going to look at the cl the cl the cloth library just to see if there's anything in here that I would probably use. But likely not, because he is an elven character, and I do want him to be dressed a in a specific manner. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll grab clothing from another thing, uh, from something like the model stuff in uh, what is it? Um, Make human. Or use this or even um, I have simply cloth I just don't use it anymore um, because to be honest I'm not with like here you can even simulate stuff but it's so limited on what you can simulate and I, and I find like when you want to do very custom clothing you just kind of have to go out there and just do it yourself 
So even with the human generator clothing, let's say if I went to the extras pack, which this should be way larger than this, but this is just this is how I feel about it. What I like for him, I know I want his clothing to be somewhat tight fitting. So sometimes what I'll do is is I'll grab something from one of like one of the characters with something tight, even if you go to like casual and use like the skinny look or something, but but I would remove the shirt and then add my own top. Okay, so like in this case, I will go to the extras and I'm going to use this bomber look, but I'm going to get rid of the top because I know that the pants tend to be really tight. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. So let me cl click that, delete, and then delete. And I don't know. If, okay, there we go. All right. So I know like I know the pants would be really tight, but the thing is, is it has a jean look. So I'll go and do this, I'll do that, do that. Now, I want the alphas there, but everything's gonna be black for right now. All right, and then because this is sticking out, I'm going to go to scope mode, and I'll grab, did I grab him? Is that on him? Yeah, 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 Hold on. Let me go over here and make sure that, yep, all right. So like, what I find is, is if something, if one of the shape keys is selected, like highlighted, go back to basis and when you go to sculpt mode it will allow you to actually sculpt but before that it won't like now I can move it because this just like the shape keys are active all right okay here we go I find like in the um, discord for for uh, uh, human generator there's a lot of people drop a lot of things in there but they don't like make videos for it or anything to kind of give people an idea or a view on how to work with some of the character models or the stuff they in the program okay so I know I, I tend to uh, this is why I post stuff on the second channel because my main channel is for all of my entertainment stuff so the things like uh, different series and uh, my various series, different shows, small snippets. I'm not really into doing like a lot of fan based stuff. So you would never see like a thing for like Star Wars or something. All of my stuff will be a, a, my own original content. But uh, nonetheless, let's go. So now I know I want a top, but I, I kind of want the top to be almost like a, uh, like a tank. So I may go here. I think it's something here. It's not. It's 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 totally not anything here, but I do want something that almost would, would, would resemble a vest. So what I'm thinking is one of these tops, one of these. I think this one is added to the scene. I'll click up here and hit add to scene. Another thing, this is the Cloth Library Pro. I don't think any. I don't think it has any new updates. It has a few things. Not bad. I use it um, a bit, but. As of right now, uh, I don't really need a lot of different clothing changes because I'm working on a movie project and at the same time I'm working on various series. So I'm using clothing assets from, you know, like the downloadable assets and, and uh, stuff from Human Generator along with things from uh make human and, and whatnot so just to try to build up a bit of a a um i can't think of the word man it's like i'm having t conversational problems so bear with me please so, <laughs> uh but yeah building up my own library to a point you know okay let's let's fix this all right yeah, I like this. I like this. Now, the cloth library comes with its own shaders and whatnot, so I don't really want to use those. Push this back because I know that's too far in. All right. Q, not too bad. That fit him pretty well. But I know I want this to have like a jean texture on it, so I'm going to give it that once I'm uh, done with it. It has a vert set of vertex groups on it. I'm going to get rid of those because I don't want them. And then I'm going to hit save. Okay, so I know I need this to be up here. I don't understand why it doesn't just do that automatically. 
it could be because I'm using Windows, I mean not Windows, well I am using Windows 7 but uh, Blender 2.91 as you can probably see right here, but yeah, alrighty then, that's not too bad, okay, so as for the shoes, I think I'm going to give him some boots from uh, Make Human, so I'm going, and these things are going to be gigantic, so I'm going to go to OBJ, I go to documents all right let's see Make human oh, I got it. Oh, oh, wrong thing all right oh, oh, oh. where is it where is it where is it where is it oh that's it that's it okay so let's see how hmm Oh, let me go put in boots. Let me just type in boots. All right. So I think I will give him, let's check out the riding boots. I feel like the riding boots are definitely female based, but I'm going to look at them anyway. Uh, the scale is huge. So I'm going to go like 0 0.3, 0 0.03, 0 0.009. <laughs> okay, so they're, they're micro now. <laughs> so they're micro now. Let me go to like 0.3. All right. Okay, so that's not too bad because it's going to go right. You see where, where is it at the knee? That's not too bad. But I do want to change their orientation to the 3D cursor. So when I sc scale up, it scales to that area. All right, so I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go into wireframe mode. I'm going to already in one. I'm going to delete this side because I'm just going to mirror it later because all I'm going to do is this. And I know I may need to slide it back some, so yeah. All right, let's come up and rotate. All right, not too bad. I do feel like it's a little small, but that'd be all right. Cause it's not the size of his foot. So let's see if I, hold on, wait. Let me think, 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 man. All right, I can deal with it. And I'll do this for the sake of it. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, yeah. Smooth it. And then I'm going to go into sculpt mode. And I'm going to push it out a little bit. So just around the pant leg, even though I'm going to delete those verts for those pants. All right, it's not too bad around the leg. I like that. I like that. Okay. All right here, let's pull out a little bit. So yeah, I can work with that. All right. So now, let me see. Uh, let me think. Oh no, I don't have to think about it. Mirror. Boom. All right. I'm gonna apply the mirror, and then. Oh, did something mess up? What's this? Oh man, I think I did mess something up. But oh well. I'm gonna delete those faces. All right. Now, for the sake of the character. I'm going to come up. I'm going to go ahead and start mixing some stuff. But now I understand I still want him to have like a cloak on. So I'm going to bring something like that in here in in a second. And then we'll see the final result. Yeah, not too bad. All right. Uh, hmm. Oh, no, let me go ahead and, and uh, set this up. All right, so we're going to click the riding boots. Of course, if you already looked at the story, you will click the object you want to put as the mesh and then you will hit control P and we're going to keep transform. So we're going to click the boots again, come up to mesh into clothing and we'll go from there. So I'm going to go foot, select that mask and the foot should have disappeared even though I might have something in the back there. No, I don't. Okay. Well, right here on the top. But it'll be okay because I'll be getting rid of that footwear. Corrective shape keys. Go. And next. And auto weight paint. Finish. And we're done. All right. So now I'm going to click off so I can push it into there. I'm going to click the shirt. Again, make sure there are no vertex groups or shape keys. I'm going to click up here. Control P. Keep transform. Click it again into mesh next next and in this case i may i think i'm gonna leave it like it, it it is because even if i go uh 
arms short see what happens so I don't need that so I'm, I'm gonna get rid of that and just leave it like it is go next we're gonna go top corrective shape keys Better think a little bit. All right, next in auto weight paint. And there we go. All right. And that's done. All right. So now, as for these pants, this part for the pants, right? Uh, the issue now is this is sticking out, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is come to the front. I'm going to go to wireframe. I'm going to hit. Uh, tab to go into edit mode and then gonna click all of that all right so I don't want it to go too high so I know I'm gonna turn this off right there and this one is not all the way around so I'll cut that one off also this one ooh, okay all right so they should be even now and then we're gonna delete those verts and come back into solid view and there we go all right so i'm realizing like there's still some some pieces of the foot sticking out right here all right so how are we going to fix that same thing go back into wireframe hit edit mode and then i'm just going to pull and drag okay because it's the backup body that's basically showing and i'm just going to delete those verts and i'm going to pull back out and boom there we go so that's fixed and now darvin has his clothing so i want him to have on a cloak but i'm not really sure if i want i think i'll just bring something in so let me go to clothing again go back over here imports obj and in this case i don't know if it's this one or not because it doesn't show me any images no i don't think that's it either i'm making sure because i don't want to download the wrong one I thought it was that. I thought it was up there though, because I think I remember what, how it's spelled, but I don't remember. Like the, uh, like the um the name of the top. What I'm thinking about doing, and this is just 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 uh, brainstorming here, is there is a mage top. Let me do that. Oh my goodness, wizard. Yeah, wizard robe. Right, and the, and the thing is, this wizard robe isn't like what you would think. Like it's 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 li this is literally what it looks like. But what I'm thinking about doing, right? Put this origin to the 3D cursor because I do not feel like fighting with it. All right. Okay, so since this is very large compared to the model, I'm going to get rid of his sleeves, but I like the fact that that neck is there. All right, so, yep. Okay. Now, so the sleeves are going away. I'm, I'm not going to keep those. These are These are going away. Okay, he's he's not gonna have those but I do want him to have the neck part and down the middle will be open so this will go all the way down but I'm gonna open it down the middle I don't know if this is up too high or not but this has to go over the shirt anyway right all right so yeah I'll sculpt it up to above the shirt I'm likely to delete some of this around the sh like right here because I don't want it to show through. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let me go and get a read of these. Verts. It's L select. Verts. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. I'll push it down. All right, come back in here, grab the center part, and delete those verts. Again, it's going to be open right there. All right, save. I'm gonna claw. I'm gonna rename this to cloak. 
All right, come over here and rename it to cloak. All right, let's check our time. And it's almost 30 minutes, okay. Um, let's see. I am going to go to sculpt mode. Let's put on, all right. Okay, so I am going to delete part of this shirt that he's wearing. Cause I don't want, uh, I don't want to stretch this out too far, and then it just looks gigantic on him, and it and it doesn't have to. When this could be kind of the core component, but I do want him to have on an undershirt. I'm thinking about getting rid of the shirt and then using his skin to create an under uh, undershirt, and that's that's fully viable. But I, I would like this to still be on him without the collar. Uh, this is such a such a situation. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, let me do this right now. Hide this. Okay, there we go. So I can see how far in it is. All right. So I already see now how much I need to pull out. Not too bad. All right. Okay. Come on now. All right. I kind of like that a little, almost a little better than the shirt. I may, I may do what I said. Just get rid of the other shirt and then just use this as its top and use his body as as a shirt um where's that top at here so yeah i may just do that let me just delete that hierarchy and let's clean that up all right yeah I, i'm i'm thinking it may be the the, the situation here <laughs> yeah let, let me go with that so i'm going to hide this and i'll grab his center and go to tab and let's see. What? Wireframe. Why am I not going to wireframe? All right. Okay, so I'll just grab all the way down to here. Going to Shift D, Escape P, separate. Now I know you say, "What, what happened?" Um, that's because of the particle system. So, yeah. Uh. Oop, wrong thing. All right, cool. To just get rid of the particle system and all that craziness to go away. All right. Now I'm coming here and I'm gonna go back into this mode. And since all of these things are already set, I don't have to change anything. <laughs> all right. All right. So I'm gonna grab it. I want to say here. Yeah. All right. And here. Nope. Here. All right. L, L, and go. All right. Now this is the next one. That's this one's kind of crucial to me because I have to grab it to a certain point on the neck. And okay, so like I I don't know if I can grab all the way around this. All right, yes I can. All right, here we go. All right, because I want this all the way up his neck. I don't want it to just be. I don't want it to be low. All right. So we'll come back in. That's not too bad. But the back side watch see how it's got like this little spiky thing going on right there and this one's always difficult to mess with because i'm not really sure how to get all of this like i want it so what i'm thinking about doing is just grabbing all of that and just well let me get rid of this one and then just delete these grab all this on the bottom delete that vert that vert delete the vert okay so this part hit c and i'll just go delete vert all right, and then I want to grab all of the bottom, and I'm going to hit scale Z zero. All right, all right, and then I'm going to pull it down a little bit. Then I'm going to go to smooth, and I think I can. Yeah, that's not too bad, but that's kind of jacking up in the back, back here. These two verts. Oh my goodness, why y'all got to be so not cool? All right.
All right, I'm gonna grab this. I just made that super straight in the back when I shouldn't have, but yep. All right, so now I'll grab all of this. I'm gonna stretch it out just a little bit. All right, so then bring it back to the body. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. All right. Okay, so since it has all the shaders on it, I'm gonna come up here. Gotta wait on this human skin shader to kick in because it's gonna be a second. Yep, there we it. Okay, so now I can delete all of those because I don't want any shading on him. All right, and then since it's basically even, I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna toggle all of this. I don't need this at all. And then I'm gonna go and put in a solidify. We wanna make sure it's even thickness and we're going into the negative 0.34. I know that's gigantic. I just wanted to just make sure that it could be seen. All right. So since there's shape keys, I'm not going to be able to apply that. So we gotta just leave it like it is and boom. So when I bring the cloak back, not too bad, but I do know I wanna shape this. So I'm gonna get rid of the cloak again and come over to let's make sure the shape keys are not active on the thing all right i'm gonna go to sculpt and right here i'm gonna pull it out so and dial so i want it to at least look like it you know clothes somewhat look when they're on you they don't exactly some do squeeze you tight, so it's not gonna play like that doesn't happen. <laughs> but yeah, all right. Okay, not too bad. All righty then. Let's bring this cloak back because now what I want to do with the cloak is I do want him to have on a belt, but I'm probably not gonna play with that just yet. All right, so now with the cloak, let's make sure that it's. Let's go back to scope mode and make sure that it's sticking above that. All right, not too bad. The thing right here is too sharp. All righty then, and these little peaks right here. Where is it, where is it, where is it? All right. Ooh, okay, hold on. I didn't notice that at first. Okay, so now this is the one that's weird to me because if I say whole body, what I find tends to happen is everything from here, let's hit F, uh, one, let's hit one. If everything from this arm all the way down to the fingers tends to try to pair with this body. And I, I don't get why that happens, but it does. But let's just go ahead and uh, pair them now. And then we're gonna go back. Gonna go ahead and just start it. Because like when you do whole body, sometimes it just for some reason does that and I don't know why. So here I'm not gonna mess with anything because again, this is external to the clothing that's already there. But if I say full body, I'm gonna put corrective shape keys on it. And I find that if I move the hands of something or a finger, things will stretch and pull and I don't, and it shouldn't. All right, auto weight. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in there. All right, let's open this up. All right, okay, so for the sake of it, I'm gonna go back into the uh, body and I'm gonna turn up all of the particles real quick. All right, because I wanna be able to move the skeleton a little bit faster and the particle system tries to adjust with it. So I'm gonna double tap R, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad, okay, okay. See that right there? Don't like that. Don't like that at all. But I mean, of course, that, that will mean I basically should be doing a, uh, what's the thing called? A, um, ah. I can't think of the word. Cloth simulation. <laughs> Check the time, almost 40 minutes, all right. So now that's set up. Now let's go and work with the 
materials because this one the ones that have been added are going to be solid white uh so yeah the shirt that i originally put on there would had would have had a different look on it i know that without a doubt um so yeah all right okay i'm gonna go into shading tabulator tabulator all right <laughs> okay so i know i want this undershirt to be really laid back looking so i'm gonna make it i'm gonna call it silk and i'm gonna go into my textures all right come here so we look fab all right so yeah and and the thing is is this is not gonna look like silk but i'm just going to give it that all right i'm gonna reduce the uh normal to 0.5 and I want it to be a reddish color. So I'm boost this. All right, there we go. Okay, for, so for the sake of it, I'm gonna go into tab mode and I'm gonna uh, cube project. All right. All right, I don't like the roughness. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump it. Alrighty, I'm gonna go back up on one on that. And over here, uh oh, and over here we're gonna add a value. And why I'm adding a value is because my intent is to bump it up to two without, I just don't feel like playing around with it. All right, not too bad. I feel like this red is not dark enough or rather light enough, if that makes sense. All right. So for his top, uh, um, cloak, same thing, come back in here. I'm gonna go back to fab. I'm gonna give it a denim fabric. I know it probably would have been more of a wool color or something, but I'm not gonna deal with that. All right, so I'm gonna bump this to three. <laughs> okay, come back in, select all, cube projection. I don't know if that messed it up or not but we'll find out. I'm going to do something else with the neck, so I'm gonna add another thing to it. All right, so again, I'm gonna come over here, gonna add a value, because it gives me way more control over how many, what's on it. All right, so yeah, I'll take it to five. All right, I can deal with five. Okay, I'm gonna bring this down to two. Again, don't like the color ramp. I mean, the roughness, pull it back some. And I'm gonna make this somewhat of a darker color so you can see. All right. I want his, I want the neck to be almost a goldish color, so I'm gonna add another one. I'm just gonna come in and just go cloak, and then double it up, and then just call it cloak trim, and then go gold. All right. Come up here and click one. One, two, all right, and a side. All right, and because it is already selected, I'm gonna go into the face mode. I'm going to move it out on the normals. Okay, double up, click all the way around. All righty then. Okay, so now another thing I'm going to do, do I need to do that? Let me, let me go inside of it. No, I don't. All right, cool. All right. So I'm thinking I also want that on the bottom of it. So I'll just select all of this. Ah. <laughs> okay. So spin around. I don't know. Should I? Should I inset? Yeah. And then click the cloak on the trim. Oh no, no, no. Just ah. Okay, hold on. I actually can do that. I can do that. I can do that. I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get close to, I'm going to click these edges and then we're going to pull them in. Right on the edge, right on the edge. All right, Alt select and trim cloak. Hold on, uh-oh, the inside. 
Made it. Oopsie. Wrong button. Alright. Okay, so I just want it here. I don't want it anywhere else. A sign. And then I'm going to do the same thing I did on the on the top. There we go. So we have trim all the way. We have trim on the bottom, trim on the top. Alrighty then. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Alright. See like how his top is kind of not going all the way to the bottom. Alright. So what I'm thinking about doing here. Oh, well, that's fun. All right. <laughs> I'm just, why am I so far out? Like, am I scared to be close? Okay. All right, I'm going to hit O. Scale in. And then I'm going to pull it. Oh, nope, nope. There we go. All right. And go down. Come back into color view because I want to see this. Oh, no. I don't want it to be so big it comes through. I just want it down some. All right, all right, cool. That's not too bad. All right, now let me see what I got. What I got. What I got. Kind of want this to have some trim on it, but since I can't apply that, like let's just look at that. Like right here, I cannot apply this. Apply. See, it's shape keys. So I would have to get rid of the shape keys and then or reapply the shape keys in order for that to work. So yeah, that's fun. All right. I mean, I could put trim on it, but I just had to do it on the lower level. Like, just turn this off and then go to this level and then come up here and add trim. So I'm thinking, like, at this part, clearly I can't select any of that, but okay. All right. <laughs> like, as you can clearly see, it will not select all the way around. So I'm going to select just this top part and then hit Control Plus. And come over here, duplicate, and I'm gonna go cloak trim. We're gonna assign that trim to around his neck. And then add the solidify modifier back, turn it back on, and boom. There we have it. All right, not too bad. As for the boots, let's turn off his cloak. Let's hide it. Let's cut the boots on. We're gonna keep this simple. So I'm gonna call it leather boots. And we're gonna come in and Gonna go over up here, gonna go to leather. All right, uh, let's pick this one. Displacement in AO. All right, so I'm going to, I'm gonna add my own color. I'm gonna give it a three. Come over here, do the same thing I did before. Give it a, val a, a value. And then I'm gonna go three, because I want it to be smaller than usual. Come up here do the same thing all right not too bad all right so let's see so as for the color sneak peek boom all right give it a really deep brown but we're gonna add another color out and then i'm gonna pull back hard We're gonna bring some, 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 some crucialness to it, so it's like kind of partial. All right, let me see, let me see. Yeah, like he's been doing some stuff. All right, so I know I want this soul to be black, so now that means I had to come in here and go boop. All right, but again, we're gonna use the same thing. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go and put boot soul. All right. And then since it's just gonna be a normal, just dark bottom, I'm gonna just go in here and just make this dark. And come back in, undo this. I think I can just hit that. Nope, it's not gonna work like that. All right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh my goodness, are you serious? All right. Um, I gotta figure out how to do this without 
selecting everything. I know what to do. Ooh, that may not work either. This is gonna be fun. All right, <laughs> so, okay. You would think that would work a little bit, but no, it just, it refuses. All right, select. Select. And I know I need to get rid of this at the top here, so I'm just come in and just deselect it by, by hand. It's not too bad, not too bad. All right. I'll probably start from the middle next time, but I don't know how fast it'll grow all the way over to the top here. All right, so again, you might think that I'm weird for this, but I'm going to delete this one. Oh, select it, undo that, because I'm being I'm being indifferent now. All right, so just assign this to the soul. Let's go six. I'm sorry, two. Come out. All right, not too bad, not too bad. All right, so now we're gonna go uh, noise color ramp. Drop this into there and this into there, come up here. And I'm gonna go UV because I want it to be a part of the UV. All right. Come on, thing, stop playing with me now. All right. Let me get tight in there and I'll pull back saw. So we wanted to be, we wanted to be kind of gruff. Four. There you go. All right. Um, da, 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 da. All right, to height, normal. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna switch this over to this one instead of that, because they may be too much. Yeah. Okay then, it's almost time. All right, so now I'll pull it back on the distance, 0 0.03. On the strength, 0 0.3. 0 0.2. Mm, not too bad, all right. Even though I feel like this is still not high enough, so. Six, there we go. so it looks a little rough see how it looks a little like chewed up a little bit that's not bad all right so i'm going to pull the same trick i pulled earlier it's going to move these all right one just going to delete it come back in here and mirror it and go mirror and the thing is is now i can't apply it <laughs> but that's fine I guess matter of fact no let's undo that I don't want to do that I don't want to do that because I don't want those troubles all right so I'm gonna come in and do the same thing I did for the other one then not be lazy forgive me for being lazy see if I click just that one and see how far it goes before it spreads it's virulent everywhere all right Ah, come on, man. <laughs> All right, right there. All right. I think that's it. Yep. Okay. Over here and add it. And boom. We have souls. Okay. Come back to the regular layout. Turn the cloak back on. We're gonna, let's get some hair in here, man. Let's get some hair in here. So I'm going to turn this off. So it'll move a little bit faster on the hair. And kaploom. We have our elf. And he's just to say he's royalty, so he wants to be all indifferent. But I'm going to be a little bit different myself. So let me turn this back on, click his body, come over here, and now I'm gonna go to expression and I'm gonna go face rig. Usually I do this first so that nothing happens because I find that sometimes, just sometimes, when you put clothing and all the other stuff on it, the face rig doesn't always want to work instantly. So yeah, that's fun. All right, click this, let's see what we get. See, T 
T.I.'s face not working. Fun, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, remove the face rig. All right. Again, it, it, it's, even if I re-add the rig, it may not work. So, I'm going to go over here, click the bones, click add face rig. And, and this happens sometimes. This is why I tend to do this before I do any other adjustments, but I didn't. So, pardon me for that see what happens probably still get the same result nothing yeah so yeah um so i'm just going to get rid of the facial rig and in this case i'm just going to give him some expressive faces i want him to really look kind of like whatever in effect i'm going to go to the shape keys and i'll just do it myself because i want a specific look is this is it not get oh the shape keys have been deleted because I added a face rig. That's fun. Let's go back into the history. One click, one click, pose mode. Yep. All right. Back into the history. Edit mode, pose mode. Back into the history. Loop, 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 loop. Children, do select, pose mode, select. Nope, I see it now. I had to see it. I just saw it right here. It says add facial rig. So select. Okay. So now the face all of the all the um shape keys are there. Let's get the music going again. Hit shuffle. Alright, that's cool. Alright, so now what I want to do is, is I want to find a particular face for him that just will adjust or just will work for me. Which is now different. Like you see how they're all set. So I can't even. I forgot that they're already. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Ah, uh, forget that. Mm, okay. I wish you had like something else. It was just a little bit more. Like whatever, man. And it didn't even take. <laughs> it didn't even take, man. It didn't even take. Let's see if we can add the facial rig again. Oh, this is frustrating because I want him to look a certain way and I can't even do it because I didn't start with that step. Like, do that every time. Start with that step. Don't, don't, don't forget to take that step because see here all right so i think i'm going to just use this fix all right um is this is it i don't even think his lids are working no they're not the eyes are working though and it's going in the wrong direction all right i know what to do here okay so let's come up to the top i have the code i ain't gonna say everybody else does but i have the code all right so uh yeah um no where is it where is it where is it text editor going to open up i don't think i have it as saved as a script so i had to open this up all right oh man i do not remember where i put it I have to find the script. Where is it? No. Don't remember. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is not good because I don't remember where I put it. <laughs> Come on, man. This is not good, people. It's 
I do not remember where I put the script before my human generator the Python script I have for this to fix the face problem and I do not remember where I put it oh man this is this is horrible because I genuinely don't know where I put it let me go test something real quick I yeah, just see the, the pie file, so there's no way. Oh man. Uh 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 uh. There it is. Alright. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What? Oh, my bad. Oh man, I don't remember how to do this. Now I don't remember how to do it. I'm gonna assume it's like this. Is this is check the system console. What in the world? Ah. Don't remember what to do. Alright, there it is. Now, this is the thing. It generated the rig for me, but the facial rig. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, alright. Let me go to the. Uh... Alright, so I'm gonna go up here. Which I think this should work differently, and it doesn't. And it's kind of it's, it's it's weird to me that it doesn't work that way. But all right, anyway. So I want to go and test the face, which clearly may not work. See, so it's not working. It just generated the rig, and I don't like that. So yeah. So yeah, this is this is busted. Um, I'm not gonna go to that. I'm not gonna go to that. Let's go over here to rig. I want to. Go there. Just gonna go backward because it's not gonna work so I wanted to pose them but I'll just stop right there because now it's just not working and the script tends to work but for some reason now it's not working so I don't know and it was for a different version so I'll kind of yeah <laughs> but you would think the face rig would just work and it's not working So if I come in here and I click Darwin, I click his, the side of his mouth should move, right? But it's not. His face should drop. It should drop, it's not. So, yeah. And that's why I say I tend to um, do all of this beforehand. So what I'm thinking about doing is taking him back to the creation phase, but taking all of the clothing off of him, and I do mean all of it, and then adding it back. But it, it's... Ah, but anyway, so yeah, I'm just gonna pose him because <laughs> that's that's frustrating, man. All right, so sorry that I just wasted all that time, but I'll, I that's a that's a problem I have to take up with Oliver uh, and be like, why does that happen? If you do any kind of changes to the model to that extent, uh, the face rig just stops working and the shape keys don't work. So yeah, all right, but I'm gonna pose him. So I do have a pose library, so I'm gonna go to this pose library real quick. Oh, and it wants to try to load something of the, it's loading the, listing the directories. 
today is just not a blender day for me, is it? All right. <laughs> okay. Um. Here. What in the world is happening here? Why am I having such a hard time? What is happening here? Okay. Man, I, I really genuinely don't know what's going on here. All right, that's not what I wanted. This one is the one I wanted. All right, because this is just for the armature. All right, so we're just going to go and put him into rest mode pose. All right. All right. So I know that automatically deals with the hands and everything. So I already have a post library form. Okay, so I'm gonna grab his head. Um, oh, his neck, rather. All right. And his eyes like, just seem to be going in the direction opposite to where they should be going. Let's go to the constraint. And invert. I don't know. Sometimes it happens. It just—it's weird. All right. Add, turn this into cinema. Excuse me. Add a camera. redo resituate this all right so i'm gonna come in here and go to his eyes go to his oh never mind gotta come out of pose mode first all right go to the eyes come down here to the viewport and i'm gonna turn the alpha off because it allows me to see where his uh where his pupils are this off that's not what I wanted I turned on the wrong one <laughs> man I tell you it's, oof. anyway the point of the video was to show you that you could morph the character but definitely make sure that you add all the components of the character beforehand example make sure that the character has uh, oop, my bad make sure that the character has his uh, all his bits and pieces before you start because it will just only create more problems. It create problems you don't want to have. All right, come back over here because we don't want it in cycles. Gonna go to EV world. I'm doing a dynamic sky, so all right. I need to change the direction or the angle of the sun. The horizon has always been a weird color to me. I'm just like, what is that? All right, and the sky is just not blue enough. All right, the clouds too bright. All right, I'm gonna go 1.03 on the sun value, and then that's it. All right. So his arm is too far into me. I I don't understand what's going on there. This part. All right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Not too bad, not too bad. Let's get his let's get his, his hair pumping. Let's get his hair pumping back. <laughs> the reason why I go back into solid mode because it's just it moves so much faster when you uh, go to turn something back on. All right. And there's our elf. Now I'm going to add a backlight to him. So yeah. Let's see here. Light. Um, area light. Make it 90. Let's pull back some on that. Right. Now this is the thing. The ambient occlusion is on, the subsurface is on. Okay, so now let me turn this on, go over here, turn on the shadows. I don't care about the distance, 1200, because uh, I want it blaring on his neck. Because we want rim light. All right, so. <laughs> now let me go 600 on that. All right, let's see what that rim light looks like. I may adjust the uh, distance though, make it like five meters. All right, let's say three meters. Two, three, three's five. Pull back some on the specular. All right, and then I'm going to give him a field light. So let's just call this key light. And then I'm going to du duplicate that. Paste. And uh, I'll rotate the other direction. The thing about the field light is, uh, I do not understand why the Y does that. All right, so I'm gonna bring this over. Let me go back to global. All right, pull this up a little bit. All right, so that fuel light is too bright. So I'm gonna bring it down to like 120. Let's come back in here. All right, yeah. And I don't know if I like the where it's it in reference to its space. So let me go over here. And, Okay, and let's say 240. Not too bad, but I still think that's too bright. 160, and I'm gonna give it like a, almost a reddish tone. Yeah. Camera's too tight. Let's see what I get. Let's see what I get. Now, you see that deformation in the neck on the clothing? I hate that. I hate it. <laughs> so, I'm going to go in and fix that. All right. So, duh, 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 duh. I keep saying so a lot, don't I? So, let's go neck. I want to see its weight paint. So, I'm going to weight paint. So the influence on it is not, it's, 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 it's pretty, pretty solid. I don't really like that. So I'll come in here and bring its strength down. All right. Cause we're painting now. Turn this off. Okay, so let me go to head. Like, I mean, like, to be honest, I don't even see why this even has any sort of influence. The head should have any influence on this part of, of it at all. So that means that the neck is having more influence right there than the head is. I don't, it shouldn't have that much to pull it that far though. Like, the head should, the neck shouldn't, it just shouldn't. So I'm just gonna get rid of all of it. <laughs> just gonna get rid of all the weight paint on that. 
and this should be a minor influence but not to the point where it does that so i'm thinking like here on the sides add let's add real let me come down here real light really light on the sides oh come on man that was not that light <laughs> all right see like here is really really light so i'll get rid of that because it's too tight that was too strong oh no i did the wrong thing this is a 2.3 uh oh 0.23 all right hit save add i'm gonna make this like 0 0.06 just enough to get it off the neck. Did you see how that's starting to slide over? Like it just shouldn't do that. And that's just, I, 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 I hate it. <laughs> like I don't like it. But for the sake of this shot, for the sake of this shot, I'm just gonna use that little bit for the neck right there. And that's it, just for the sake of the shot. Cause that was just that's just too much. All right, so that's a little bit better. Cause again, your neck would, you know what I'm saying? So there we go. So yeah, for the sake of the shot, yeah. But now, if this was like an animation, I would totally fix that. That would be, I would fix that totally. But this has gone too long. So at an hour fifteen minutes. All righty then. So there you have it. And yeah. All right, guys. So number love, mahalish later. See you around.